Hello, dear aquarist. Welcome again to one of my cases of fish diseases. And today it's about an ancestress. Yes, a South American catfish that is very popular in our aquarium. And they can come down with diseases. And in many cases, we find bacterial infections. Yes, I talk a lot in my cases about bacterial infections because those infections are most common. And I explain you my findings and what you can do uh, as a treatment because you have to take actions as soon as possible when you encounter such problems. Here is the ancestors with fin rot and bacterial infection. You can find out more details on fish diseases, also on other catfish, other loricaridae, or other ancestors or hip ancestors or berry ancestor species in my books on fish diseases, which are available on the link here below. I'm a consultant in the fish industry, and that's why I obtain a lot of information and I see a lot of fish disease problems, like I found in this ancestress with this bad tail rod. You can see the damaged tail, the whitish part of necrosis that is going on. Well, obviously, this is a clear sign of disease. Still, you need to do a microscopic examination to find out if it's not a parasite that is part of the problem. And here we could see parts of the tail that are demolished by a bacterial infection. And we could see here at this part, I put it with my arrow here, some fungus starting to get infection going on as secondary infection. Here we see the video of the massive amount of bacteria. You can all see this moving black tiny spots, maybe two or three different kinds of bacteria that have an impact on the skin and the fins of this ancestress. So you can observe it with a microscope at a higher magnification of 400. We also found that the gills were infected. You can see here some demolition, necrotic parts, lamellae that were eaten away or consumed by the bacteria. So the treatment of the ancestors, well, you need to treat the bacterial infection with a good antibacterial medication or an antibiotic. Ask for advice in your aquarium shop, depends what they have available, or ask your fish doctor or your veterinarian or you can read more about it in my books on fish diseases. At the same time, you can help with the fish food. The fish food helps the fish to repair and helps the fish to fight off infections. Like in this case, the Dr. Baslier buy fish food, grapefruit seed extract, Moringa, or the Fuco helps during bacterial infections. More details on fish diseases, diagnosis, prevention and treatment in my books. The link is below. Or you can get a training or more advice or more consulting on my Patreon channel. That helps you to become uh, more professional or to get solutions on your fish diseases. I hope as a consultant I did my part of work for you today. But you have to take actions to learn to understand fish diseases, to detect on time, and to subscribe. So you learn more in my other videos that I present for you. Thank you for watching.